आई आई टी जोधपुर वी आर इनोवेशन मीट्स इंस्पिरेशन वी आर डिस्टिंग्विस्ड फैकल्टी आर पुशिंग द फ्रंटियर्स ऑफ नॉलेज Sparking ideas that have the power to transform the world. Research that holds the potential to impact society. Get ready to embark on a journey through the minds of pioneers. Discover the sparks that are igniting the future. How is it that we are able to control how we act, what we feel and what we think? The ability to control our actions and thoughts and emotions is essential for achieving both long and short term goals. Hi, I'm Dr. Vignesh Murlidharan, an assistant professor at the School of AI and Data Science at IIT Jodhpur and my lab, the Murli Lab of Cognitive and Computational Neuroscience, explores human cognitive and motor control through many facets. We are here currently at the Cognitive Engineering Laboratory which is a part of the Center for Brain Science and Applications and I am one of the faculty in this center. My lab predominantly has three major research themes. The first research theme that the lab is exploring is inhibitory control of actions and thoughts. Do you know there are people with ADHD, autism, anxiety disorders and other neurological disorders that suffer with the lack of inhibitory control. Inhibitory control is like a brake pedal for your brain. This ability is important to maintain self-control and avoid impulsive behavior. In the lab, we study inhibitory control through many ways. We can use brain recordings from EEG or electroencephalography to see what is happening in the brain at that time. From the EEG activity, we can pinpoint or locate brain areas that are involved in inhibitory control and understand what they do. In fact, using this information, we can then use neurostimulation, for example, transcranial magnetic stimulation, to see how these forms of control work and use these methods to modulate this form of control. This can allow for finding better treatments for people who suffer from impairments in inhibitory control. The next research theme that the lab is exploring is in the domain of brain-computer interfaces, or often called BCIs. BCIs are this cutting-edge technology that helps people gain control over their motor function by using brain information and driving them into actions. In the realm of BCI, we are exploring two problems. One of the problems is to use both brain and muscle information to control external robotic devices. For example, a robotic sixth finger. This work is being done in collaboration with Dr. Bhivraj Sutar. The other approach that we are taking in the BCI space is to understand speech perception. This work is done in collaboration with Dr. Dipanjul Roy. So through this research, we are trying to help people, say, who have stroke or spinal cord injury to help regain their motor function. Another research theme that we are exploring is to study action control in real life scenarios. We can use technology such as augmented and virtual reality to create real life like scenarios in the laboratory setting. This can be used to develop applications that can help certain patient population for prognosis of certain symptoms or rehabilitation. For example, in the lab, we are looking at Parkinson's disease, which is a neurodegenerative disorder where initiating movements is a problem. And this happens in specific real life contexts, which cannot be captured in a clinical setting. So we can use these AR and VR methods to create those scenarios where they show this movement difficulty and then use this information either to provide prognosis to a clinician or provide rehabilitation strategies to the patients. Thus, in the lab, we are looking at these three major research themes. And with this, we'd like to push the frontiers of understanding both the brain and its effects on behavior and 
hopefully address some of the mental health disorders that are there in the world currently. Thank you.